Determine the entry point for the nail at the tip of the greater trochanter. This point may vary slightly depending on the patient anatomy and fracture pattern. Insert the 3.2 mm guide pin through the soft tissue protector by aiming towards the central axis of the femoral shaft. Remove the black pin guide and ream over the guide pin with the 13.5 mm cannulated entry reamer. The depth is determined by the first indentation of the reamer lining up with the top of the soft tissue protector. The 3.2 mm guide pin is removed, as well as the soft tissue protector, and the 3.0 mm ball nose guide wire is introduced down the shaft of the femur using the guide wire gripper. Measure the length of the ball nose guide wire with the guide wire depth gauge from the laser etch line to determine the nail length. The 8 mm end cutting reamer is used to ream out the central path for the nail. Progressively ream in diameter until cortical chatter is achieved. Ream 1 to 1.5 mm over desired nail diameter. Introduce the nail into the femur over the ball nose guide wire. Complete the insertion with gentle mallet strikes on the targeting guide impactor pad. Remove the ball nose guide wire and slide the screw sheath, 4 mm drill guide, and 4 mm obturator assembly through the appropriate transverse hole in the targeting guide until it contacts with the lateral cortex of the bone. Remove the obturator and drill the bone using the 4 mm calibrated drill. Measure the screw length from the end of the drill guide using the calibration marks on the drill. Remove the drill guide sleeve and insert the 5 mm cortical screw assembled on the captured hex driver until the black laser line is flush with the end of the sheath. The sheath is removed and the reassembled screw sheath, pin guide, and obturator assembly is slid through the distal hole on the targeting guide. Remove the obturator and insert the 3.2 mm guide pin through the guide and into the femoral head. Use the laser marking on the guide pin by sliding the guide pin depth gauge over the guide pin and reading the required screw length. Remove the pin guide and drill using the 5.5 mm calibrated cannulated drill over the guide pin to the appropriate depth by using the calibration marks on the drill. Remove the guide pin and insert the 6.5 mm fully threaded cancellous screw assembled on the captured hex driver until the black laser line on the driver is flush with the end of the sheath. Once the screw is fully inserted, remove the screw sheath. Slide the screw sheath, purple, yellow, blue 5.5 mm drill, and obturator assembly through the proximal hole in the targeting guide. Drill to the appropriate depth using the calibration marks on the drill. Insert the 6.5 mm fully threaded cortical locking screw assembled with the captured hex driver through the screw sleeve until the laser mark is flush with the end of the sleeve. Remove the screw sleeve. Finally, use the ball hex driver to uncouple and remove the targeting arm from the nail. Using a perfect circle technique, drill bicortically through the distal femur with the short 4 mm drill bit. Measure the screw length using the green line on the drill bit referenced off the distal depth gauge. Insert a distal 5 mm cortical screw using the hex driver to complete the nail fixation. 